Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with exercise 18.2 of the chapter mensuration. But before starting with the exercise, we are going to learn what is the area of rhombus. So here we are having this figure as a rhombus. In this one, we are having this as one of the diagonal. Let name this one as diagonal one, and this one as other diagonal that is diagonal two. And these diagonals intersect each other at 90 degree. So the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So here we get the area of rhombus equals to one upon two into d one into d two. That is half the product of the diagonals is the area for the rhombus. Now we know that rhombus is also a type of parallelogram. In parallelogram, only opposite sides are equal, but in rhombus, all the sides are equal. So we can calculate the area of rhombus also with the help of the formula which we use for the area of parallelogram. That is. This will be the base, and this will become the height. So here, this is equal to base into height. So here we are having two formula for the area of rhombus. The first one is half d1 into d2, and the other one is base into height. Now the next one we are having trapezium. Here we are having a trapezium in which one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Now to get the area of this figure. We are going to have this parallel side as A, that is the length of this side, and the other one as B, that is the length of this side. Then we are having the height of trapezium, which is also known as the distance between the parallel side, and the area of trapezium equals to one upon two into the sum of parallel side, that is A and B, into height. This can also be written as half into sum of parallel sides into Now let's begin with exercise 18.2. Now here in question number one we have each side of a rhombus is 13 centimeter and one diagonal is 10 centimeter. Find the length of its other diagonal and the area of rhombus. Now here in this question we are having this figure as per the information given in the question. The sides of a rhombus is of 13 centimeter and one of the diagonal is of 10 centimeter. So सबसे पहले हमें इस दूसरे diagonal की length निकालनी होगी. And uh, as we know, the rhombus, the diagonals of rhombus bisect each other. So this will be equal to this one, and this will also be equal to this part. Now, as this whole is ten, अगर ये पूरा ten है, तो ये जो part हमारे पास आएगा, वो सिर्फ five centimeter का होगा. The distance between this point and this one. And here we are having a ninety degree angle. Therefore, we can apply a Pythagoras theorem to find out this side. So very first of all. BO equals to half of BD as diagonals of rhombus bisect each other. Then this will be equals to one upon two into BD. We are having ten, so half into ten that is equals to five centimeter. Now this angle AOB equals to ninety degree as diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, we get AB square equals to AO square plus BO square. Now AB we are having as 13, so 13 square equals to AO we have to calculate plus BO that is 5 square. That implies AO square equals to 13 square minus 5 square. That is equals to 169 minus 25, and this is 144. And this implies that AO equals to the root of 144, that is 12 centimeter. Now We have got the value of AO as 12 centimeter. Now this AC will be twice of AO as diagonals bisect each other. And here we get AC equals to twice of AO as diagonal bisect each other. And this is equals to 2 into AO. We are having 12. That is 24 centimeter. Now we have to calculate the area of this rhombus. So area of rhombus equals to 1 upon 2 diagonal 1 that is AC into diagonal 2 that is BD. So AC we know that is one upon two into twenty four. We have just calculated. So twenty four into BD we have been given that is ten. So this one to cancel out. So one hundred twenty centimeter square as answer. Now let's do question number two. Here we have 
The cross section ABCD of a swimming pool is a trapezium. Its width AB equals to 14 meter. Depth at the shallow end is 1.5 meter. Deep end is 8 meter. Find the area of cross section. So here is the figure given in the question. This is the shape of trapezium in which the two parallel sides are AD and BC and the distance between the parallel sides is AB. Now the area of cross section equals to 1 upon 2 into the sum of parallel sides that is AD plus BC into height that is AB and this is equals to 1 upon 2 into AD we are having 1.5 plus BC we are having 8 into AB we are having 40. Now this is 1 upon 2 into the sum of these two that is 9.5 into 40. This 2 is going to cancel out to get 7 and this is equals to 6 6.5 meter square as answer. Now we are going to do question number 3 and we have the area of a trapezium is 360 meter square. The distance between two parallel sides is 20 meter and one of the parallel side is 25 meter. Find the other parallel side. Now here we have this figure as per the information given in the question in which we are having a trapezium and the distance between the parallel side is 20 meter and one of the parallel side is missing and the other has been given as 25 meter. We have to calculate the length of this side only. So we are going to use the formula for the trapezium. The area of trapezium equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of parallel sides that is x plus 25 into height that is 20. And now the area of trapezium is given as 360 meter square. So 360 equals to 1 upon 2 into x plus 25 into 20. This 2 is going to cancel out to get 10. Now we can open the bracket and this is 10x plus 250. This is 360. And now on rearranging, this will be 10x equals to 360 minus 250. And this is 110. So x equals to 110 upon 10. And on solving, we get 11 meter as answer. Now we are moving to question number 4. And here we have find the area of a rhombus whose side is 6.5 cm and altitude is 5 cm. If one of its diagonal is 13 cm, find the length of other diagonal. Now here we are having this figure as by information given in the question in which we are having a rhombus as ABCD. And this rhombus we have base or height diya for the area of triangle. Then with the help of that area, we are going to find out the other diagonal. Matlab, we will use the area of rhombus ke dono formula ka use karenge. Pahle hum log use karenge with the help of base and height and then we are going to use with the help of diagonals. So very first of all, we are going to find the area of rhombus with the help of base and height. So here, area using base and height, that is the area of rhombus will be base into height. And the base we are having 6.5 into height we are having 5. Now 6.5 into 5 is 32.5 centimeter square. Now we have got the area of rhombus using base and height. Now we are going to use this area for the diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. Now for area using diagonals, area of rhombus is 1 upon 2, diagonal 1 as AC and diagonal 2 as BD. And here area of rhombus we know that is 32.5 and this is equals to 1 upon 2 into AC. We are having 13 into BD we have to calculate. And therefore, this BD equals to 32.5 into 2 upon 13. Now, on solving this, we get 13 1 times and 13 2.5 times. And this is equals to 5 centimeter as answer. Now, we are going to do question number 5. Here, we have from the adjoining figure given over here, Calculate the area of trapezium ACDE, the area of parallelogram ABDE, and the area of triangle as BCD. So, very first of all, we have to find the area of trapezium that is ACDE. Now we know the area of trapezium has the formula half into sum of parallel sides that is ED and AC. So, here we have 7 plus 13 into height, we are having 6.5. So this is equals to 1 upon 2 into 
20 into 6.5. Now this is going to cancel it out to get 10 and that is equal to 65 centimeter square at the area of the trapezium ACDE. And then next we have the area of parallelogram ABDE that is ABDE. Here we are going to use base into height and this will become the base and this will be your height. So here we have base into height that is equals to 7 into 6.5 and this is 45.5 centimeter square at the area of parallelogram ABDE. Now we have to calculate the area of triangle BCD and here we have area of triangle BCD equals to area of trapezium ACDE that is the whole figure minus the area of parallelogram ABDE that is this much part. So this is equals to 65 minus 45.5 centimeter square and that is equals to 19.5 centimeter square as answer. Now let's do question number 6 and here we have the area of a rhombus is equal to the area of triangle whose base and the corresponding altitude are 24.8 centimeter and 16.5 centimeter respectively. If one of the diagonal of the rhombus is 22 centimeter, find the length of the other diagonal. Now here we are having the rhombus and the triangle. In triangle, the base is 24.8 and the corresponding height is 16.5 centimeter and one of the diagonal in the rhombus is given to us as 22 centimeter. Now it has been given the area of triangle is equal to the area of rhombus. Therefore, we've got this relation in which area of rhombus equals to area of triangle. Now we know area of rhombus equals to 1 upon 2 into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 and the area of triangle is 1 upon 2 base into height. So here 1 upon 2 can be cancelled by 1 upon 2. Diagonal 1 we have got 22 and the diagonal 2 we have to calculate and here the base is 24.8 and the height is 16.5. Now this D2 that is diagonal 2 will be equal to 24.8 into 16.5 whole upon 22. Now we can solve this one by 2 that is going to give us 11 and this will give you 12.4 and 11 1 times this is equal to 1.5. Now multiplying 12.4 into 1.5 we get D2 equals to 18.6 centimeter square as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.